Meteorologist Mike Everett here now with the first alert forecast, trying to find us a little more sunshine, a little warmer temps. I got some great news for you. You're going to love this forecast, Greg, because not only do we see some sunshine out there, but finally some warm temperatures that we have been well, kind of starving for for a good long while. Start our story right here at SeaTac, where we keep the records. Today was another day that was, well, below average. 51 was the official high today. 54 is the 30 year average. <sighs> The record for today's date is 72 degrees set back in 1947. We were nowhere near that, but you know what? The low record is 30. We were nowhere near that either. 39 is where we touched down. No rain in the gauges today, and that sunset tonight at 715 was glorious. So in case you're wondering, this has been a long time coming. So we have been below 60 degrees now for 146 days, which probably begs the question. Is it a record? Well, the record is no. 172 days set back in 1956, 1957. So again, nowhere near that. And this streak is about to come to an end. The 60s are coming. The 60s are coming. In fact, it looks like sat Friday and Saturday. we got a really good chance of doing that. I'll show you those numbers in a moment. Let me show you this. We've got a ridge of high pressure really starting to take hold across the West Coast here. Folks down towards the south couldn't be happier about that. It was a stormy day in Arizona today. In fact, a lot of folks playing some of that spring baseball had to postpone some of those games today because of the activity. What we got going on here now is this ridge of high pressure that will build in. Now it's not perfect. We'll see some cloud cover, but what will happen is anything that's trying to come in off the Pacific, especially on Friday. Nope. Closed, denied, disintegrated, and the remnants are sent off towards the north there. So we will stay dry despite the fact that we'll see some cloud cover out there. Looks like our next significant ish weather maker looks like it comes in on Sunday and then that's it for winter. Putting future radar into motion. I can't tell you how long it's been since I've been able to do this. Let's enjoy it together. Ready? Here we go. Boom. Nothing. 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 In fact, by the time we get to about 8 a.m. on Friday, we're going to see some beautiful clear skies across the region. Great sunset potential tomorrow night, but it looks like on Friday we'll start to see some of that cloud cover move in. So it could be a little bit pastel, but still that's going to be some mid-level cloud cover. So it could actually be quite gorgeous out there. But you notice not a drop of rain, not a flake of snow. Forecasted wind gusts, not too bad out there. We'll see some kind of northerly flow that will then switch and become slightly offshore. Could get a little gusty towards Tacoma this time tomorrow night, right up to about 20 miles an hour. No big deal there. We can handle that. Overnight lows tonight will be chilly. We were discussing that earlier with those clear skies come some cool temperatures. You notice 32 is a very popular number from Bellingham through Mount Vernon, Seattle, Renton. Down towards the south, slightly cooler. We'll see some low 30s in Chehalis and Olympia. And out towards the coast, we'll see some low 30s. And well, eh, 24 and 30, not too bad off towards Ellensburg and Wenatchee. Temperatures tomorrow climbing beautifully above average. It's been a long time since I've been able to say that. And I'm really excited about this. Your seven day forecast has lots of goodness tucked in there. Looks like our first chance to break that 60 degree mark will be on St. Patty's Day. If we don't do it there, we'll do it on Saturday. And we're going to see plenty of sunshine through the weekend.